instead of trolling past an odd user who's guide to gunslinging. Today, we're gonna draw a nice, pretty little butterfly with bear claws. Alright. And fortunately for me, growing up in the Alaskan wilderness, I had the ability, of course, to witness many of these out in the wild. Yeah. Quick little story, I was actually out hunting, uh, looking for, looking for Eskimo arms out in the wild, and I was, felt something kind of tickling my neck, and I thought maybe it was Uncle Sam trying to lure me back into the Navy, but really what it was, it was a little butterfly with, with bear paws. I had no idea such a thing existed. And then it actually tore half my face off, unfortunately. So, that's why I'm always behind the camera here, so no one can see me. So I, I kind of like to draw my fear. Because I'm a tough son of a gun. Just draw cute little antlers. And just there you go. See how precious it is. Put some fur on there. Make them soft in the wing area. Winged creatures should always be soft, they say. But not this one. This one. And the last time I saw one of these was actually snuck into my kitchen. I was put the refrigerator back here with a bunch of garbage laying out. The half-eaten watermelon and a, probably a Snickers bar or something. Yep, and here's my oven. That was actually, if I remember correctly, that was actually a, that was the, what was that, little baby was trying to crawl out of the oven. So just, you know, put little baby arms hanging out of the oven. Dials on and I forget the, whoosh, whoosh, have the oven vent on or else. Smokes up the whole house. Alright, there you have it. Tune in next time where I show you how to draw God's neck. <laughs>